Welcome. I want to provide you an update of the current next generation coil design and give you a glimpse into the parametrics I was announcing what we're looking for. I will, be, will give you um, detailed information about that on my membership website, but here I want to only point out what it is all about. So basically, in a nutshell, you drive a coil system with a pulse. You don't provide any grounding at all and you let the coil translate this pulse into two half cycles which is required for your load um, to run. So we have one pulse, one positive pulse comes into the coil system. We're taking from the coil out the reaction of it, the two cycles, and we are storing these two cycles or we are converting these two cycles via the bridge rectifier and this allows us from the bridge rectifier direct to drive the load. Give you a quick update on my setup. So I have the DMM connected here for reading the voltage. This DMM is not connected to crowd and it also has no power on it. It is purely battery driven as this one. This one will measure the current and I show you the wire in a second and here I give the pulses in and we go then later on here to the stage. It's about a pulse with a width of 80 nanosecond. I have only one wire connected again to the coil and the coil is orthogonal, orthogonal 90 degree uh, to the input coil. We are taking the signal out from the silver wire on one point of the rectif uh, rectifier AC and on the other side I put it out from a different coil also one wire in here. The LED diode is connected on a plus side via this wire to the DMM and from here out it goes then back to the other side on minus. This is then connected here. So this is a voltage and DMM. They are connected here and they are connected here together. So here is that one comes from the plus side of the bridge rectifier, goes in here and the minus side goes back in here which is then actually plus providing here and I measure the current requirement for the LED. The DMM will measure the voltage drop. It is across the, the DC off it's across the load and of course across the DC of the rectified um, AC signal and measures the voltage drop over. We get, we're going in with 6.12 uh, megahertz and you will see how the, and I have voltage probes connected to this wire which comes in and to the other wire and you see some interesting phenomena. I will now energize that. So we have full brightness. I measure 5.34 after voltage drop on a, on a um, DC um, consumed by the LED and I measure 1.45 uh, milliampere consumption. So that gives me around 7 to 8 milliwatt. So we have been there already. Now, both here, interesting enough, are almost identical aligned. We see here that we have a multiplication to the half wave, we have 14.28 megahertz to the half cycle and we measure 15.18 volt um, peak to peak on the second side. And if you think that if I connect ground now it would make a difference, 
No, it makes it worse because we have a complete autark system built here which requires only a pulse, only a positive signal. That's what Tesla was talking about as well. No ground at all. We are not feeding any ground in it at all. And if I would feed ground in it, I make it worse because then not only would I disturb that, here we have my ground connection, but I would change a lot of things. It's not, it's not working. I cannot connect cr ground here. This is completely autark. Now, interesting is the coil is reacting in a different way because it's shifting um, or it's reacting to the pulse and it's providing the two cycles. Look what happens if I move that. Literally, I'm shifting the complete um, um, frequency. No, not frequency is not changing, but I'm moving up and down to the zero line, but both in parallel. So this is, it also drops a little bit in, in current when I touch it, but that is an interesting phenomenon. They're all in sync, and what happens to that coil happens to all of it at the same time without changing the individual coil as such. They're all aligned to each other. They all depend on each other. So that one signal which comes in here from the pulse generator is creating that. So I hope that gave you an idea of what you can expect on um, for my members in my parametrics um, um, video series, which will be in addition to the next genera generation coil. And we'll um, do this kind of analysis with special um, combination um, which you will see then on my Vember website where we go that even lower to that to to the signal that we have a much higher output on the other side but that is a good starting point and if you have comments please provide that and if you have explanation I wanted to think to to make it another challenge but I leave that for a moment until I produce another video where I um, can clearly demonstrate that we have a signal and a specific uh, voltage source on that side and where we have much more out. And I will also change my load to a precision 10 ohm load so that we can drive much more current through the system where we have a, a, a definite um, um, calculation factor for our power consumption which we can put into a formula rather than uh, measuring that way. That's all for now. Thank you.